His body, baby. His body, baby. Hey guys, your girl is back. So I'm going to be starting off doing my eyebrows, guys. I always have to do my eyebrows because I always make my eyebrows a hot ass mess. You can already see I've overdrawn my eyebrows already. But obviously, I'm just going to do light strokes to just really create a really nice defined eyebrow. I think the just keep really it light and feathery and then brushing it out because you don't want to have those harsh eyebrows that look super thick and just ugly you ain't here for that baby you know it's okay da -da. you have a pretty fine girl and have a pretty fine waist you're a really cool girl i got a really i'm gonna be going into my mac pro long wear concealer in nw45 first and i'm just gonna be using this to just clean everything up and to clean any extra messes that i usually make and i use this on the top and the bottom of my eyebrows and then i go into my mac pro long wear concealer in nw40 and i just do that underneath my eyebrows to completely really create a really nice bright under under eyebrow look you know when they got that little bright on under eye nest. i don't even know what to describe it as but yeah next i'm going into my foundation and my two favorite foundations which i like to mix are the fenty beauty foundation in 440 and the nars all day luminous guys i try to use this new blender beauty blender as a recommendation for from basola i don't know like i i really was trying it does apply the foundation on well i think it's supposed to be a body blender beauty blender but um basola told me to try it and i don't know i kind of gave up I, I couldn't i couldn't get the technique i feel like there's a technique with this i just couldn't get it so i went back to my usual original beauty blender and just you know use that to really create that flawless look and then obviously you guys know i'm about the revolution concealers they absolutely bring me joy because they're so affordable and they give me such a flawless look and i'm going to be using c13 then i'm just going to highlight the usual areas which is underneath my eyes on my nose upper lip and chin as well then to contour i'm going to be going into c18 the thing that i love about these concealers is that they blend out so flawlessly look at my dumb ass trying to use this sponge again i really was trying to revive that sponge please do not use this for contour it came out all right but i'm just not doing this again i was really struggling to use this sponge trying to find a use after I spent 22 pounds on this thing. So of course guys, you know how I feel about blending out your concealer. Blend, blend, blend. With this concealer, you don't need to let it dry because if it gets a bit too dry, it's really hard to blend out. So you just blend out immediately. Then of course, you guys know I'm about that brighter under eye highlight and I'm going to be going in with C12. Even though it looks really bright, once I blend this out and put on my um, setting powder, it's going to really just all blend together. So it's alright guys, it's alright. I'm not going to look a hard ass mess. Girls, them I come, them I want it on the nigga. I so then just to contour that lower area i'm going to go back into c13 just to create a more defined contour and then i'll blend this all out uh, who's that baby tell me who's that look back baby make your look back uh, move that where you move that touch that baby we just wanna touch that and tell me right and of course we have to set the concealers, I'm going to be going into my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and mixing it in with my L'Oreal Mercier translucent powder as well to just give me a really nice flawless look. And with any liquid make sure that you guys always set it because that is what's going to make your makeup last for hours and hours. And then I'm going to go into my mineralized skin finish in deep dark and I'm just going to blend this all out because I feel like the translucent powders does kind of give me a really like almost whitish kind of colour and I want to bring some colour back into my face. So keep on blending, don't be afraid to blend, blend, blend. 
look at me doing that contour face you know gotta slay so I'm gonna be going into my sleek contour kit and I'm just gonna be defining and setting that um, contour that I put before with the revolution concealers now you they mash up the place, ah. Enter the radar. Tell you I was see me brain, ah. The only oh. special one for me. And then I'm going to be going into my Ebony Covergirl and when I say this just brings so much warmth back into my face, I just, I just don't know what I'd do without it. Oh, it's my crack. I love it. I absolutely love it. And what I do is I apply it just on the areas a little bit above the contour and then also around the top of my head just to bring warmth back into my face. It's fake guys you know how much I love to just you know sprinkle and just highlight and just sparkle you know you know about this life and I just apply it on the higher points of my cheekbones and on my nose pretty much anywhere and everywhere that I can put highlight I put it there so I'm going to be going into this orange colour just to sweep that into my crease and really create a nice and smoky effect here and then I'm just going to keep on blending and blending and blending guys when I tell you it, it's worth it spending that extra 5 to 10 minutes just taking your time to making sure that you're building up you first do a, I always do a lighter layer and then build up on the colour that way you're able to blend it out more flawlessly and it's not going to just be a harsh colour on your eyelid. The key is blending when you're doing eyeshadow. I'm going to be going into Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear and I'm just going to be applying it on in the similar area which is in my crease. Not as far up as I put the Revolution Makeup Revolution orange shadow but just a little bit below into my crease and then also on the lid and I'm just building up on this smoky eye that I really wanted to create today and then just to create that definition I'm going to be going into my makeup geek eyeshadow in the shade Americano and I'm just going to be applying that onto my lid and also onto my crease. I'm using the same fluffy round brush just to create that seamless transition from colour to colour. I did alternate between a smaller brush, a smaller fluffier brush on my lid, but I still went back into my larger fluffier brush. Bluff, brush. <laughs> wow, I'm really tongue-tied. Absolute shampoo. <laughs> And then I'm going to be applying the same eyeshadows onto my lower lash line. So I'm going to go off camera to put on my lashes. And guys, this is the finished look. I've used my trusty dose of colours chocolate wasted just to create that brown lip then I applied a my NYX suede lipstick on top and then I obviously you know me I always apply gloss guys so this is pretty much the finished look okay guys so I am getting ready to go out hold on I just had to reduce the music so basically I'm going out for my friend's mom's birthday and I thought I'll take you guys with me if I'm if I can vlog I am going to vlog we're gonna have a good time and then afterwards Basala's going for a meal. Basala! Okay, I pretty much have my sliders on. I have to turn on, make sure I turn on the wrong way. I'm gonna go and pick up Tinder because he's gonna come with me to Nikkei's party. He loves a Nigerian party all the time. Trust the Nigerian man. Anyways, guys, let's get going. I'm feeling all this, you already know this. She wanna bad man to come and video this. I'm feeling all this, you already know this. She want a bad man to come and video this You a murder me eh, 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 eh. You a murder me eh, eh, eh.